The yeas are 111, the nays 92, the majority required by the Constitution having voted in the affirmative. For the third straight year under a Republican-controlled legislature, a budget was passed on time and with no tax increases. House Bill 1437 is a $28.4 billion spending plan that gives more money to education and human services, yet keeps its increase over last year below the level of inflation. After the final vote, House Republicans felt this was a plan that meets taxpayers' expectations of state government. This is the third year in the three years that I've been here that we've passed a budget that's on time, that reigns in spending, that's balanced, there's no spending gimmicks, and doesn't increase taxes on Pennsylvania families. I'm extremely pleased with this product. I'm very, very pleased with this budget. As you know, it's a $28.4 billion budget. It uh, does not raise taxes, and uh, it stays under Tabor. Education is a big winner in this year's plan. A record high of $10 billion in state dollars is invested in K-12 education. $22.5 million was also allocated for distressed school districts. Never before has there been this much money spent on education in the Commonwealth. I think overall, um, increasing education, K-12, through $123 million, that's significant. We've spent more money on K-12 through education with this budget than any other budget in the history of Pennsylvania. And um, to me, education is one, you know, one of three or four key elements that, that the government's responsible for, so I was extremely pleased with that. Health and Human Services also receive an increase that restores funding to various programs such as anemia research, lupus, and diabetes programs. There is additional money for hemophilia, cystic fibrosis, ALS support services, and more. And nearly 50 million additional dollars will go towards further reducing the waiting lists for those with both physical and intellectual disabilities. We funded the necessary health items such as rural hospitals, the trauma program, and the various support services for individuals suffering with diseases. Additionally, we increased the traumatic brain injury fund, which I think is very important. And we're looking to also increase funding and thereby decrease the waiting list for individuals waiting for essential human services. I think that's a, a great success because we were able to do all of that without raising taxes. House Republicans also reinforced public safety as a top budget priority funding an additional 290 state troopers. This increase is particularly important for those rural areas where state police provide the only law enforcement service. Well, it's our government's job to protect our citizens, and state police also got a bump. There's other areas that, of course, need more money, but as we uh, wade through this whole budget process, again, we have to see our needs and our wants and put the money where we need it most. Finally. House budget deliberations included a last-minute effort to force a premature expansion of federal Medicaid as required by Obamacare. House Republicans successfully fought back, allowing the administration to continue its negotiations with Washington, D.C. before committing Pennsylvania taxpayers to unknown millions in new spending.